Hey everybody, Dallas again with Chaos Fragrances. Today we're back with another fragrance review. This time we're going to be checking out another new release from Parfums Vintage, and this one is called Emperor Napoleon. So I just recently reviewed Intense Gold, Pineapple Vintage Intense Gold, and this one is being released alongside that one. Of course, this one fits into their Emperor line of fragrances. There's Emperor Eau de Parfum, and there's Emperor Extrait, and now this being the third version of that series. So before we actually get started with the review of the scent, if you're new here to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Also turn on post notifications and like the video. That way these new videos show up in your news feed and it helps me out in the long run. So now let's go and jump into this. So the Emperor series has been very successful so far. Uh, once it was starting to roll out and a lot of people were getting their hands on it, a lot of people were saying that it is one of the best Aventus clones out there period. Uh, a lot of people were loving Emperor. I myself am a pretty big fan of Emperor. It's personally not my favorite. I still prefer the Pineapple Vintage fragrances over Emperor and Emperor Straight. Just my personal preference, but I do have to agree that it is really solid. And if you're looking for a fragrance that targets the very balanced batches of Aventus, the Emperor series is what you're going to want because that is their goal to basically target the different batch variations and different years of Aventus. Uh, Pineapple Vintage Intense, of course, focuses on the pineapple note. Um, you have like King Intense, which focuses on the woods. You have Noir, Noir Intense, which focuses on that smoky aspect. And then, of course, the Emperor series, which tends to go towards the more balanced direction of things. So really, no matter what you're looking for, if you want something balanced or fruity or smoky or woody, whatever the case may be, they pretty much have you covered. But because there are so many different versions, it can make it hard to pick out what you actually want to purchase and try. So I'm going to try my best in this review to give you my full rundown on Emperor Napoleon, tell you how it compares to the other ones, and really tell you if it's worth picking up. So let's go and jump right into the review. When I first spray this one on, you can tell that it does have that Emperor DNA. It is very similar to Extrait and Eau de Parfum. One thing that I noticed pretty quickly on is that this kind of has a little bit of a fruitier type of smell. So whereas with Emperor and Emperor Extrait, you get that nice pineapple mixing with some citrus like you would expect from any fragrance that smells like Aventus. But what I found with Napoleon is after it sits on my skin for a couple minutes, I almost get this like fruity pebbles type of smell, which is really interesting. And I've actually heard people talk about uh, certain batches of Aventus smelling like fruity pebbles. I believe 15 in 01, that batch of Aventus people call like the fruity pebble batch or something like that, which I personally haven't smelled that batch of Aventus and I've never really smelled anything that smells like fruity pebbles before in Aventus or any fragrances like that. But to my nose, after this one sits for a couple of minutes, I kind of get this like fruity pebble type of smell, which kind of took me off guard. So really what you notice from the scent is it is still very balanced. And again, aside from that fruity pebble type of smell, you still get a lot of woods and musk along with the pineapple and a little bit of black currant in there as well up top. One thing I'll find with this fragrance as well is that it's almost a little bit more smooth compared to Emperor and Emperor Extrait. And I also think that I do pick up on a little bit of vanilla going into the dry down. That's something that uh, Aventus is known for as well. Certain batches have a little bit of vanilla and Parfums Vintage Vanilla Intense actually capitalizes on that. So it could just be my nose here, but I do think I get a little bit of vanilla uh, going into the dry down just a touch of sweetness but to my nose overall this just does come across a little bit more smooth it's a little bit more smooth and just also a little bit creamy emperor extrait and emperor eau de parfum for the most part smell pretty similar there are a few differences the eau de parfum at least to me is a little bit more bright whereas extrait just is a little bit more harsh and not necessarily harsh in a bad way but just so it's a lot stronger. And with Napoleon here, this one kind of bridges the gap between the EDP and the Extrait. I've talked to Damien and he said it himself that Napoleon is stronger than the Eau de Parfum, but not as strong as the Extrait. So that's kind of just gives you a little bit of a baseline there in terms of the performance and the overall strength. Um, it kind of fits right in the middle. And that's a good thing for a couple of reasons, one of which being that 
when you have an eau de parfum concentration and you have an extrait concentration, your projection and longevity is going to differ. So typically with eau de parfums, they project a little bit more, but they don't last as long. Whereas with an extrait, they last a long time, but they don't project as much. And that pretty much is the same for an eau de toilette, right? Uh, the lower concentration fragrance, so eau de toilette, eau de cologne, they project out a lot more, but don't last as long. So as you go up to a higher concentration, it's basically the opposite. So it really kind of makes it hard for some people to pick if they want to buy the extrait or if they want to buy the eau de parfum because people are going to stuck, be stuck between, you know, really good longevity and, you know, not the best projection or really good projection but decent longevity. So this one really bridges the gap between those two, which is honestly really nice. It's just a little bit more smooth and has a little bit more of a fruity aspect that still kind of keeps it in that balanced category, but just gives it something a little bit different. So next I want to cover where does this one stand in terms of all of their other releases? Do I like it more than some other ones? Do I like it less than some other ones? And basically, at least to me, I like this better than Emperor EDP and Emperor Extrait. I think it's personally better than those, but I still don't like it as much as Pineapple Vintage Intense. Pineapple Vintage Intense Gold, especially that's really one of my new favorites. And of course there's Vanilla Intense, which I also really like and have been a fan of that one for a long time. So this one isn't my number one favorite out of all of them, but in terms of the Emperor series, I do prefer Napoleon. To me, this is really a good problem solver. Like I mentioned earlier, a lot of people were torn between the EDP and the Extrait, and this one kind of bridges the gap between those two and makes it a lot easier for the buyer to kind of get something that's right there in the middle takes a little bit of both of those fragrances, makes it a little bit more smooth, and adds a little bit more of like a fruity twist to it. Let's go and talk about the performance of this one. Longevity on my skin has been really, really solid. It's really at about that 10 hours and up mark. You know, once it gets to that point, it really gets kind of hard to test it from there, but consistently I've been getting well over 10 hours, which is really, really solid performance. Projection-wise, it has been making itself known pretty good. It pushes out there really well and definitely gets me noticed. You know, I usually go with two or three sprays and that's enough and that's plenty for this fragrance. Um, you can either probably just get away with one or two sprays and people are still going to be able to smell you because it does push out really good. So performance overall is great. It's definitely above average and really more than enough of what I need. So really good performance there. And of course you can wear this fragrance any time of the year you want to. Very versatile scent, just like all of these fragrances are going to be. This whole Aventus DNA is one of the most versatile fragrance DNAs out there for men, at least in my personal opinion. You can dress them up, you can dress them down. Um, I mean, really, you can do anything with this type of DNA. And here, with this one, especially being that this is so balanced, you know, it's going to work well all year round. It'll work really well in the summer, in the high heat. It'll also work really well in the cooler weather. That's one thing that you typically will watch out for with the Ventus and the whole batch variation thing. You know, there are citrus heavy batches and pineapple heavy batches which are better for summertime and not as good for winter and there are very woody dark batches which are better for cooler weather and don't really do the best in the summer so really with situations like that you kind of had to pick and choose when you can wear them in terms of the seasons but again with this one being that this one is very balanced and kind of right down the middle in terms of its uh, pineapple and citrus compared to its woodiness you know it works all year round just for about any situation Compliments, of course, are going to be great with this one. When I was testing these and comparing this to Pineapple Vintage Intense Gold, my girlfriend actually preferred this one over PVI Gold, which really surprised me because I prefer PVI Gold over this one. And Pineapple Vintage Intense, just the regular, is also one of my girlfriend's favorite scents. She likes that one more than the Ventus, so I just kind of thought that she would like Pineapple Vintage Intense Gold more. But no, she likes this one a lot more. Again, I'm not really sure why, but for whatever reason she does. But this one, really going to be a solid compliment getter, as you would expect. Um, nice balanced batch, so it caters to the people who like a little bit more woody stuff, and it caters to the people who like pineapple citrus stuff. So I think I'm going to go ahead and start to wrap this one up here, guys. Just to kind of sum it up, who should buy this fragrance? If you don't own Emperor yet, and you're wanting to pick up one of them because you've been hearing all the hype about them, honestly, I would just wait until they release this and just get Emperor Napoleon. That's personally what I would do. I would throw away my other Emperor bottles and keep this one any day of the week, just because, again, personal preference here, I like this one better. If you wanna pick up some sort of pineapple vintage 
fragrance in general and you know you haven't had any of them yet would I recommend this one I would say yes this would definitely be a safe bet that you could go with a great like introduction into the Parfums Vintage world of Vintage smelling fragrances but I would also say to maybe check out Pineapple Vintage Intense and even the new gold if you would like just because I think those overall are just a little bit more captivating of course that's just my personal opinion you're going to be best off to sample them try them for yourself and then make your purchase based off of that if you already own Emperor and Emperor Extrait I don't really see this one being necessary unless you want something that bridges the gap between those two and is a little bit more smooth. Other than that, I believe you know the other emperors are going to do the job just fine, and you know you don't really necessarily need to go out and purchase this one. So, guys, that was it for this review. That was my review on the new Emperor Napoleon. Let me know if you want to try this one and uh, really what you think of the Emperor line and anything like that. So that's going to do it for this review, guys. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss when I post. That's it for me, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.